okay to make our character jump we're going to have to to create this uh, kind of a raycast let me try to, to explain to you what a raycast is so a raycast is basically a line that goes from one point to infinity in one direction one direction and uh, this raycast is going to to say, to tell us if, if it's colliding or it's, if it's not so it's not colliding it will be false false ah, you understand but if it's colliding if there isn't something in the path of the raycast then it will return true now what we're going to use for the to see if our player can jump is going to be kind of a raycast but it will be a circle so this is the ground this is our player we're going to make a circle to create a uh, this remember these raycasts are invisible they are there they are calculated but they are invisible you cannot see them and instead of we could make something like this so if this recast is colliding with the ground, our player could jump, but instead of this, we're going to use something that's called the overlap circle. That's it's just like a recast, but instead of being a line, it's a circle. So if nothing is colliding with the with the circle, then it returns false. If something is colliding, then it returns true. So let's get to it. Uh, this was our code from the last episode or whatever you want to call it and then um, let's make the the jump key w yes if input dot we're going to we're going to use get key down so that only one time this is called no we're going to use get key so if input dot get key down get key not get key down I mean you can also use it but it's the same key code dot w oops what the hell is happening then we're going to make it we're gonna change its velocity now actually we're going to change its at its force right now. We need to to change its force. So, to change to edit force. So if our player if the player hits the W key, which body dot add force let's add a new vector to new vector to No way, let's call it instead of writing in there new vector two, I'm going to call it jump vector and create a a vector a variable in here. So public vector two jump vector. Okay, so jump vector. I think that's correct, isn't it? Why isn't it? Oh, I forgot to put some semicolon here. Add force jump vector and the force mode. This doesn't really matter, but change it to I, I think it can be force. So now save it. Go into Unity. Pick in our Indian guy. Come on. And where it says, and here in the inspector, the jump vector, we're going to change its y value to say like 70. I don't really know how much this is. I guess we're going to see it now. So now, if we press W, oh, upper jumps a bit. I think it's okay, 70 for now. For now. Now remember that thing that I was talking about the the circle. We're going to make that right now to make sure that our player is on the ground. Because if he's not on the ground, he's not able to to jump. 
is not supposed to be able to jump. So first off, we need to create a var variable, a bool, a bool variable. Bool is ground is grounded to see if our player is on the ground, and we're going to equal that to a physics two D dot overlap circle. And now let's see the parameters that we have to input in here. So there's a, a vector two point, which means which is the the origin of our circle. We've got the radius, which is the radius of our circle, and the layer mask, which is I'm going to explain to you that later. It's kind of a tag, a tag detector, but whatever. So first off, let's make all those variables here so that we can later on change them so public transform say grounder the radius will be public radius public float radius I don't know if this causes any problems radius with, with two s's <laughs> just because and the layer mask will be public Lawyer mask on ground or ground ground. Okay, let's see if this doesn't have any errors. Of course, I forgot to put the parameter in here. So, grounder. The radius will be radius, and the layer mask will be. Ground. ground semicolon and right now two errors what the hell is going on oh I forgot here the grounder this is a transform so a transform it's a transform we, and we only want a position this was giving it the position the rotation in the scale. Okay, now it's correct. And now let's jump on to the jump and make that code work. So if our player is pressing the W key and is grounded, is true, and is ground, we can make it is true. Then it can, the player may jump. By the way, we're going to make this variable the is grounded variable public, not because we're going to change it, but to see it in the inspector. Okay, so Unity. Now, okay, we have our variables, our stuff here, and uh, the radius of our circle will be 0.2. We can change it later, but okay. Now let's talk about this ground thing. The ground, the the layer. Thing. If you click, for example, in the what the hell? Why isn't showing over there? Oh, in the end. Okay. If you click on any of these game objects, you can see that they have two parameters over here in the top: the tag and the layer. There, are, I don't know why there are two, but I think they they work exactly the same. And um, they have pretty much the same use. I don't know why there are two of them. But anyways, what we want to do is if this invisible circle that will be created on the feet of the player, it's something that is that the layer is ground. Then our player can jump. So let's click on the tiles. Add layer. Let's make the, the layer called ground. Now click again on the tiles. Go on to layer and set it to ground. Now if we click if we click on our player and go on to ground, select only ground. Okay, now it's done. Now only thing that's left is the transform. So you're going to do that right now. Game objects create empty, so this creates an empty game object. 
we're going to want to attach it to our Indian guy so that it walks with him. I'm going to put on his feet. And now let's see if this works. Oh, of course, I forgot to attach it to add our game object to, to the transform parameter in the ground door here. And now it will probably work. Probably. If we hit play. Okay, as you can see, look at this parameter right here, the bull, that shows us if the player is on the ground or not. So if the player is on the ground, then it's true. But if the player is not on the ground, then it's false. And let's see how the jump force behaves. Okay, I think it's nice. Now, just one thing that we're going to, to do. This is not going to affect our game at all. It's just for uh, it's a clarity matter. Matter. We're gonna add it just so that you can see more clearly, clearer, what the hell's going on. So right before the last parenthesis or whatever that is, I don't know how you call it. We're going to to create a function that's one of these predefined functions like start or update or fixed update. It's called on gizmos. So as you can see, there's a function right here, which is that very same function. So this is not, uh, as I said, this does not change the game. It will only make, uh, just for example, for example, this camera icon right here. It's not really on the game. It's just to say where the camera is. And we're going to exact, to make the exact same thing to that to that uh, circle that we just created. So I think we can copy this. No, don't copy it. Just copy this first line. So the color of this gizmo will be white, and gizmo. This is what we're going to. This is what's going to make the we see the the sphere. So draw not a sphere, a wire sphere. I mean, you can use the sphere, but wire sphere is fine. Draw wire sphere, and now what's the parameters? Just exactly as the overlap circle, it has the a position parameter and the radius parameter. So you're just going to copy these two parameters. Copy them here, close parenthesis, semicolon, F7 or F8 to save, and going back to Unity, hitting play, we should be able to see it here, as you can see. This is exactly the sphere that we created to see if our player is on the ground. If we, as you can see, this variable over here changes. If it's not on the ground or not. Now you can see what the hell are you doing when you change its parenthesis is its radius, for example, over here. For its position, you can change its position too. You know, simple stuff. I think that's it for today guys. Thanks for watching and see you next time.